So I'm here with my friends, David Crosby and Graham Nash, and we're at the Atlas Experiment. So let me ask you guys, you have been visiting CERN yes. so far. You've seen uh, how anti-protons and, and antimatter is made, even, yes. even anti-atoms. And you've also uh, seen the LHC. Uh, what, what are your impressions of what you've seen here at CERN? What, what I come up with constantly is how brilliant the human mind must be to be able to theorize and then create and then experiment and then come up with a solution. It's stunning to me. I, I, when we saw the antimatter place down there that we just saw, I mean, who thought of this stuff? You know, I mean, what kind of a brain is processing at this level? It's fascinating. 50 uh -huh. years ago, if you meant said antimatter, people would just look at you cross-eyed. Sure, sure. Uh, what, it, what it does to me, it's a very emotional thing. Uh -huh. It's a very strong experience for me. Uh -huh. To me, this is like the front edge, the spear point of science right here, CERN. This is where you're pushing back the darkness. This is where you're stretching the envelope. And unfortunately, you're discovering more dark. <laughs> no, they're, they're discovering a wider world, right. and, and it's a yeah. good thing. Yeah. Uh, to, you know, my dream has always been that the human race would grow up stop beating each other over the head with rocks and go out into the neighborhood and see who's around. Uh -huh. That's been my dream all my life. And I want science to do exactly what you're doing here. Cooperative effort, mm -hmm. not for products, completely international, completely inter everything. It's the whole human race is represented here. Sharing all that incredible data. This is, this is my dream. So valuable. It's, it's what I've dreamt about all my life.